Welcome back to my channel and into my home. I've gotten a few requests to see my laundry routine. So today I'm gonna to film my whole laundry routine for one week. I do a load of laundry Monday through Friday and on the weekends I'll catch up with anything that I missed or things like the pool towels. And here's an unpopular opinion. I love to do laundry. That's right, I love to do laundry. However, I didn't used to like to do laundry until I built in some laundry habits and I turned those into routines. And today I'm gonna to share with you these habits and these routines. And habit number one is tidying up my laundry room area. Laundry isn't enjoyable in a pooped up area. So I like to keep the tops of the machines wiped down and the floors vacuumed. We have a kitty and her crystal litter is really tough on bare feet. If you don't have a beautiful laundry room with all the fix-ins, that's okay. Make the space as enjoyable to be in as possible. Have it tidy and functional and maybe have some music playing to keep you company. As I've mentioned before, I like to have music playing 24 seven in my home. I have Christian music piped into my courtyard. It's also out there by the pool and I have it in certain rooms of my home. Now on occasion, I will have an audible book playing while I'm cleaning. It's just a way for me to do two things at one time without overwhelming myself. So you don't have to have a beautiful room. As you can see, I'm sharing space with our backstock products. Another thing that I like to do, as you're seeing me do here, is to be sure that I have all my products filled and ready to use. I get everything cleaned off and everything is ready to use um, for laundry day. I just love to have a nice space to work in. Okay, so here are some of my favorite laundry products that I'll be talking about throughout today's video. But what you will notice is that I don't fill the soap container in my washing machine because my machine is filled with 30 ounces of Tide that is auto-dosed. Okay, so let's pretend that today is Monday morning and on Monday morning, I do our clothes. Until recently, Michael and I did our own laundry, but since he's going back into the office more often, I've added his laundry into my Monday morning routine. So because of this, I have more loads to do. I prefer to divide the clothes up into three piles. One is jeans and shorts, the other one's t-shirt materials and undergarments, and then I have special care clothes. So let's talk about why I divide them up this way. In my opinion, pants and jeans wash differently than tops. So their buttons get very hot and those hot buttons can put burn spots on our shirts. They're also heavy, which doesn't allow for them to tumble freely in the dryer, which of course is gonna cause more wrinkles. And having all the pants and jeans come out of the dryer at the same time just makes it so much easier to hang over the edge of the basket, which I'll be showing you here in a second. Now, typically I do all this sorting in the laundry room. I don't do it here in the bedroom. However, I'm doing it here because there's more room here so you can see what I'm doing. 
Another tip is to pre-treat all your stains immediately when they happen. Go ahead and give them a little spray and then throw it in your laundry basket. I do keep spray in the laundry room and I also keep spray in our closet so that if you see it when you're in the closet, go ahead and spray it and then stick it into the, into the basket. Another tip is to go ahead and have everybody turn their pants right side out. It just makes it so much easier when you pull um, the pants out of the dryer if everything is right side out. I like to use fabric softener on all my clothes. And I also like to use those scent boosters, but have you seen the cost of those things lately? Until they decide to bring the cost back down, I've put away my glass container that I usually pour all those into. Okay, so let me talk to you quickly about my laundry basket choice. By far, this is my favorite basket because it's tall and it has the removable liner that I can wash when I need to. But the real reason that I like this basket is because I like to lay my, clo my clothes over the edge so that way things don't get wrinkled. See, I immediately get my clothes out of the dryer as soon as the dryer stops. I have an app on my phone that alerts me about five minutes before the dryer is done. So I am totally ready to go and get those clothes out of the dryer. Okay, so now that the pants are ready to put into the dryer, what you'll notice that I do is I shake out the pants. I give it a good hard snap. That way it just kind of straightens everything out just in case if the pant legs got twisted or anything like that. You don't want to put it in your dryer and dry it like that because then you're going to set in wrinkles and then you might have to either rewash them to get the wrinkles out or you're going to have to iron them. I don't want to have to do that. So I go ahead and take the time right now to shake everything out, especially jeans and shorts. I shake them out and I stick them into the dryer. Alright, so now it's time to pull the jeans and the shorts out of the dryer. Now what you're going to see me do is on one side I will put all of Michael's shorts. Then on the other side I will put all of his jeans. And then I do the opposite with um, my clothes. I'll put my shorts or um, whatever on one side and then my pants on the other side. Um, I do this because it keeps things um, wrinkle free. Um, they're already um, partially ready to go on the hanger or in the drawer and then anything that isn't um, jeans and shorts and tops um, and that it doesn't matter if they're wrinkled like undergarments I will throw into the center of the basket. Depending on the day, I will either um, go ahead and hang the clothes um, in between each load or I will wait and do everything all at one time. So, but I always make sure that I um, put the clothes away that day.
Okay, so now the shirts are done and I immediately get in here and I do these shirts because these will get wrinkled quickly. So I go ahead and I pull them out. Sometimes you'll see me snap them um, because I want to be sure that everything is, you know, the wrinkles are all out. And then I also turn them right side out if they've turned themselves in the dryer like I um, told you before. So I go ahead and I hang them right over the um, door here. And then once I'm done, I will lay them over the top of the basket. Okay, so let's pretend today's Tuesday and on Tuesdays is when I do all of my bedding. I have two routines for bedding day. Now today I'm choosing to do the easier-ish of the two. Now I say ish because this split mattress is very difficult to change the sheets. So today I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the sheets off and then I'll immediately put on a second set of sheets. Now I'll do this when I'm short on time and I can't tend to the washer and dryer. This way I can get my bed put back together quickly and go on with either my day or like today, go on filming for the rest of the video. But here's a nice thing about this bed is that I can um, lift the foot up like this. That way I can fit that sheet in between the end of the mattress and the footboard. Oh, that makes it so much easier. You can also do it with the head of the bed too and just um, put them up separately. That does make it easier to put the um, sheet on the bed as well. See how much quicker bedding day goes if you have a second set of sheets. Now, I like to use my Diva um, Glamour Swash for my sheets and for my silk pillowcases. I only need to use a little bit of this. Remember, it's gonna be mixing in with that soap that will be auto dispensed. So you only need to use a little bit. I also um, use some bleach to keep them white and a little bit of fabric softener. And believe it or not, once I get these out of the dryer and folded and put into the drawer, next week if I need to use them, they will still be nice and fresh as the day that I took them out of the dryer. 
that um, Viva Wash is fabulous. It holds a smell, it smells like a luxury hotel. Okay, so now the sheets are done in the washer. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the dryer. Okay, so today's Wednesday and it's the day that I do pet bedding. I just throw this big fluffy thing in the wash. I also take the cover off of the bottom one that you'll see here in a second. Now I have two of these beds, um, two separate types of beds here, um, because my grand dog comes over and spends time with us and I like both of the dogs to have beds. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off and then I'm going to throw that big fluffy one in the washing machine. You can see I'm being very ginger as I take this off so that fur does not go a flying. So for the dog bedding, I use the Lysol laundry sanitizer and I also wash it in the sanitizing wash, which is a very hot wash. Now, every Wednesday after I wash the dog bedding, I go ahead and I wipe out the um, washing machine and I do a deep clean of the dryer as well. 
as you can see fur is everywhere it's stuck everywhere so what i do is i go ahead and i wipe everything out then I will throw one of those um, little pods in there, those little washer pods. Um, in this washer, you can also put some bleach in the dispenser and it will, um, it has like a self-cleaning um, wash in it. But I, today I'm gonna use one of those pods because I have one left over. Um, so I wipe everything out and then in a little bit, you'll see what I do with the dryer. Now look at the amount of fur that is collected in my dryer. Isn't that disgusting? Anyways, as you can see, I'm gonna have to clean out the dryer too. So I did buy a new tool, which um, helped to make this go so much quicker. Okay, so this little tool is just like an extension that will go deep down into the dryer. Um, it does not fit onto the Dyson. If it does, I don't know how to do it, but I did put it on my Zinger or my Zing, my Bissell Zing. I call it my Zinger, but it's the Bissell Zing and it works great. I can get deep down in there and really get a lot of this out. And I'm not pulling it out and getting it all over my um, laundry room. I'm able to suction it out and um, it goes into the um, vacuum cleaner and I'm not having to mess with all that flying around in my room. So anyways, I really do like this um, tool. It was really cheap on Amazon. I will link it for you um, in the description box along with some of the other things that you see me using here today. Okay, so today's Thursday and it's the day that I do my towels. Now you're gonna see me doing three sets of towels, but typically I wash my kitchen towels as needed and then I wash my microfiber towels again as needed. I have plenty of these so I don't need to wash them um, constantly. Anyway, so as needed, I will wash these, but every Thursday I do wash our bathroom towels. And a little secret with my bathroom towels is I always buy white towels with the exception of those green towels that I got in the guest bathroom, which I'm regretting because I do like to have white towels. Another secret is, is I buy thin towels. They are the ones that are quick drying towels. So they're thin, but they are very absorbent and um, they dry very quickly. So that way I'm not having to um, sit around waiting for big fluffy towels to dry in the dryer. So that's the secret, get some thin towels. And I'm gonna show you which towels these are um, here in a second. And again, they're thin, but they're not cheap thin. These are a nice quality um, thin towel that will dry quickly. And I also use this rinse and refresh instead of um, a softener because it doesn't build up onto your towels. And actually it helps to remove um, the buildup that's on your towels from using softeners on the towels. Because you know, if you use softeners and it coats the towels, they're not as absorbent. Um, also, they don't dry as quick. So I liked a nice quick drying towel. That way I can get these towels done really quickly on Thursdays. Again, I don't just throw the towels into the basket. I go ahead 
and I fold them and hang them over the edge of the dryer. Then I take them into the into the bathroom and I fold them the rest of the way. Um, I don't like wrinkled towels either, so I'm very picky about my wash and I just don't like the wrinkles. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all these folded up. And this right here, this is a little hair turby that I use um, for my hair. Um, these things are really good and very absorbent for your hair. Um, so I will link these two um, down in the description box. Um, I have long hair and it really helps to pull all that wetness out of the hair. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna fold all of my bath rags and those hair turbies and also my white bathroom towels. All right, so I know that this can be a little bit confusing because I'm wearing the same outfit, but remember, I'm doing all this on separate days. So on Mondays is when I do all of our clothes. On Tuesdays is when I do our bedding. Wednesdays is when I take care of the dog's bedding. Thursdays is when I take care of our towels. And on Fridays is when I do all of our throw blankets. The weekends, I will catch up with anything that I haven't gotten done, or that's when I'll do pool towels and um, the kitchen towels and things like that. So I know it's confusing because I'm wearing the same outfit. I just didn't want to film all week long. I just wanted to film it all in one day. But many of you are doing this all in one day. Am I right? You are trying to take care of all this laundry in one day. It is exhausting, y'all. I would highly suggest that you split this up or you are gonna run the risk of having baskets full of clothes sitting in your house. It's much easier if you divide this up um, throughout the week. Much, much, much easier. Even when I had all those kids that I had, I had to divide it up throughout the week. I was not going to do all this in one or two days. Um, because if you do that, like I said, you run the risk of having those clothes sitting in a basket. You see what I mean? I hope that that makes sense. All right, so now this is um, my drawer that I put all of my, my dish towels in. And then I fold all of our, um, all of our microfiber cloths and I stick it in this um, little basket here. Um, I typically don't dry the microfiber cloths. As you saw, I wash them and then I just hang them to dry. Um, they dry fairly quickly, so um, no biggie, but you can put them in the dryer if you want to or if you need to. Go ahead and stick them in the dryer. I just want them to last a little bit longer, so I go ahead and I hang them to dry. Okay, today is Friday and it's when I do all of my throw blankets. I absolutely love to have a nice, fresh throw blanket um, to snuggle up with on the couch. And my daughter Madeline bought me a beautiful um, Barefoot's Dream throw blanket for Mother's Day. And I'm absolutely in love. It is so warm, so cozy. I know that she paid an arm and a leg for it, but oh my goodness, do I appreciate it so much. Um, thank you, Madeline, for my beautiful Barefoot Dreams um, blanket. Anyways, I do put a little bit of that nice um, Diva wash in here, and I also put some um, fabric softener in here. Okay, so look, it's already getting dark. That's how long I've been doing laundry, and that's how long you do laundry if you're doing it all in one day. Please, 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 please consider not doing it all in one day. All right, so now I'm going to throw them into the dryer, get them all nice and warm and fluffy, and then I will have nice blankets for the weekend.
All right, friends, it's nine o'clock here. I am worn out. Now this right here is the reason why I split my laundry up into five days. It's just too much to get everything done, especially if you want to have everything folded and put away and all that. So anyways, I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, would you please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get reminded every time I post a new video. I'll see you again in next Sunday's video. Until then, stay blessed, my friends. Thank you.